y'all ain't gonna fuck with me after this, but what's new? The reason why women aren't rushing to the altar anymore is not because city girls are up by 10 or people just wanna be outside. It's because of how embarrassing y'all make marriage look. There's more married men in my DMs than single men. What was the point? What was the point? For better or for worse means you get sick, baby, I got you. You lose your leg, honey, I got you. You lost your job, well baby, you provided for this family for so long, sit back, take a break, baby, I got it. Not you making a conscious decision to go fuck Felicia down the street. I didn't sign up for that. Now, before y'all attack me about what the hell I know about for better or for worse, I filed for divorce a couple years ago and my life would have never looked the way that it looked now had I kept that ring. Marriage means nothing if you're disrespected and neglected. Marriage means nothing if you're hated, berated, or degraded. It just doesn't. I'll be the first to say that it is a piece of paper if the person you're committed to is not committed to you. So if you feel like these modern women need to go back to being wives, we will once you start respecting yours. But until then, we're going to be outside. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Lessons of a Housewife. Now, you see I have this video clip for you guys early this morning. And you heard this animated woman with the supposed attentions women have in marriage, but have to result to divorce because men are cheaters. You can find them outside, she said, till men start to value them more. <laughs> One look at this woman in this video. And I can see why her husband went to the next one. Modern women's attitudes today are disrespectful and distasteful. They carry such a negative behavior and wonder why a man went elsewhere. I'm curious to know if this is the way she carried herself in the marriage, because if she did, what a bad investment her husband made. If this is how all modern women communicate, I see why marriage is out of home. Women like this push men into other women's arms. Then they blame them when they couldn't keep their little attitudes in check. So y'all have divorces and put yourselves back on the market for what? You couldn't even keep the one you had. 70% of divorces initiated by women from the lack of communication and infidelity. Yet this is how y'all communicate. Who is really the problem in communication? If this is how y'all communicate, what kind of attitude you had when the man wanted to explain to you something? How did you react when he tried to talk to you about a situation? Like this? Is he at fault in the marriage when it comes to communication? Then he has to pay your way in life because you didn't want to hear him out. Pay attention to what could have been bothering him, listening to him to prevent him from even doing it. It's because y'all women don't really care about marriage and you don't care about the men you marry. Y'all are not even attentive enough to see when he is bothered. Y'all think there is other men out there that want to put up with this type of behavior. Now I'll tell you something, there might be a few men that find this cute, but it won't be the ones you want. Now you're back in the dating market, looking for the greener grass like any man out there would take you seriously. You're so animated and disrespectful. I didn't take you seriously. No man wants this attitude in their home. No husband wants his wife looking like the next hot girl summer chick. And if you want to be outside, that is where you will remain. Divorce might be petty to y'all, but to men, they take it seriously. Because what men want in a woman is a woman who is going to be there for them and work it out with them. Men want a woman that couldn't work it out with their husband and is back on the market looking like a city girl. Reality check, women. The grass is not greener the older you get. That grass dies along with your looks and your body. And the longer you're in the market, the less chance you have. Because there's always a new 18-year-old. Your attitudes suck. And it will make any man go and find something new. If you wanted to marriage in the first place, you would check yourself before you even try to check him before you even come at him this way. But y'all don't really want no marriage. Y'all want control. Y'all want to be able to funnel whatever you can out of a man when it comes to his finances, when it comes to his time. And hold his penis hostage while he has to take care of everything you do. The legal system has been on y'all side, so y'all could care less about the effort y'all have to put in. The man will always be punished, regardless if you didn't do your part. So go ahead and be outside and stay in that lane. With those attitudes, 
Y'all ain't doing anything but filtering yourselves out of the dating market. And with that, I end my video. What do y'all think? Comment down below, hit the like, subscribe to my channel, share this video, and don't forget to hit the bell button. Follow me on IG, Lessons of a Housewife, and Twitter, Lower Volume 1. And as always, you guys, I thank you all for watching. <music>